What's up, guys? Back with another video. Back with another video. Um, hope you've all been well since the last vlog. Today we're here with the Q and A. <laughs> On my Instagram, I asked you guys to send me a few questions, so here we are. I'm gonna answer a few. Let's get into it. What's 9 plus 10? Can I be in the vlog, please? Sure, Phoebe. You can be in the vlog. <laughs> coffee order. I'm not really that much of a coffee drinker, but if I was to get a coffee, I usually just get like an iced coffee. If I'm feeling adventurous, maybe I'll get like a vanilla shot in my iced coffee. But yeah, other than that, not really that much of a coffee drinker. Favourite gym exercise? I have quite a few of these. I have quite a few favourite gym exercises. I'll say bench press and deadlifts. Favourite set at swimming? Ooh. I'm going to go out on a whim here and say, even though this is probably one of the hardest sets I've done, after it, I felt like so fulfilled. So I'm going to say, full meat set. If you don't know what that is, basically you do every single um, in the event that you do at a meet, um, and you do that as fast as you can and you get timed. And afterwards, you will feel horror. You will feel sore. Mark my words. Who is the most annoying person in your squad? Me. What's your race day, Brico? Race day, Brico, I try not to stray too far away from what I usually have, so usually I'll have like eggs on toast, maybe a protein shake, a banana, um, but besides that, yeah. Favourite pool you competed in? Ooh, probably, I'll have to say the pool in Fukuoka, um, yeah, that was just an unreal pool, the, the, that was my first ever long course world champ, so the atmosphere was unreal. What motivates you? What motivates me? Probably have to say my family and friends. Um, they're the people that I feel that I represent when I'm when I'm swimming, or in fact when I'm doing anything in my life. You know, just my family and friends. They're the ones that keep pushing me forward, that have pushed me forward, that have helped me become who I am today. So, um, yeah, that's who motivates me. What is your pre-race ritual? When I'm behind the blocks. Um, when the heat in front of me is up on the blocks and ready to go, I'll kind of like just set myself so I can get used to the speaker's start and when they say take your mark, I'll just like get ready and then when the buzzer goes, I'll jump at the same time that everyone dives in just so I can get like familiarized with um, the starter and how they start. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. And then once I've jumped, I'll do 14 jumps because that's my lucky number. I think I've had this on the vlog before. And then, um, yeah, and then when I'm up on the blocks, like, you know, my leg up on the blocks, um, and the whistle goes, I'll hop up, I'll do two claps. That's to kind of just get myself fully in the zone and I'm in the water. What is your marshalling song? What is your hype song prior to a race and pre-race song? My kids love chicken soup. I regret introducing it to them. My pre-race song, it depends on how I'm feeling. I have a wide range of taste in music, so I, I can't actually say one song, but. Yo, get on the case. What are your favourite goggles to race slash train in? Can you show us your favourite pair of training and racing togs? When I was in Japan, I actually got these prescription goggles because I'm blind. Um, prescription goggles for training. These are the Cobra Swipe. I find that they're like so like they're comfortable, but also got like that rigidness to make sure that they don't come off or anything, and and they've got a sleek design. So these are the ones that I like racing in. Also, in terms of togs. Just your bog standard arena brief. That's what I train in. I rock the Arena Carbon Core FX. This is the diamonds colorway. I really like the style of racing togs because you get the dual taping down the back and that really helps with like keeping your hips up on top of the water. These are the togs that I race in. How did you get into swimming? I got into swimming back in 2008. Um, actually during the Olympic Games where I saw Michael Phelps absolutely dominate and uh, as soon as I saw his turn of fly I actually raced down to the pool I think I ran from my house and just hopped in the pool and just started swimming butterfly just thinking oh my god like this is this is for me 
and I never used to think like that. I used to always have other sports that I preferred more, like football, rugby, basketball. I used to think that those were the sports for me. I had, hadn't really much time for swimming other than swimming lessons, and as soon as I saw that race at the Olympic Games, I, I knew that I wanted to do swimming, and I joined my local swimming club. Um, in a few years' time, I started racing. A few years after that, I actually moved down to swim with my current coach, John, and, um, and yeah, that's, that's how I got started. Uh, what's in your gear bag? What piece of equipment helps you most? What are your gear bag essentials? So in my gear bag, I have a set of fins, I have my kickboard, I have a snorkel, I have finger pedals, normal pedals, and like large hand pedals. I have pull boy and a band. Uh, for me, my favorite piece of equipment and the best piece of equipment for me is probably my fins. Um, it's probably because I love being underwater and, and, and working on my underwaters. So for me, it'll be fins. But uh, yeah, let's see what my uh, let's see what my team has to say. I don't know how to New GoPro. Yeah, nowhere near. Oh, that's gangster. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, it's like a selfie camera. Uh, hey. Oh, it's like a uh, What's the most important piece in your gear bag? Ooh, probably the, the bag. Like, Bruh. you need it to carry everything. <laughs> I don't have a gear bag. Bruh. <laughs> Huh? Um, in my bag? No, just like in your opinion. Oh, Bruh. Who's the most annoying person in the squad? Um, Henry. Henry. Who's the most annoying person in the squad? Lila. <laughs> uh, Cole and Noah. <laughs> Go with me. Actually, um, the most annoying. It's probably Greer Winter. <laughs> the best advice you've received from your coach? From my coach? Yeah. Ooh. That's a that's a good question. I don't know. I've I've had a lot of advice from my coaches, but uh, I think. Um, Kerry Haring once said to me to be myself, not to be scared to be myself, so it's the best of that. Jacob Winter, what's your race day breakfast? Uh, nothing, usually just a bit of Fresh air, oxygen, can't go wrong. <laughs> What's your pre-race breakfast? A six pack of up and go. <laughs> really? All six? No, no, it's two. Any up and go sponsors? Do you have a pre-race ritual? Is there anything you do before your race? Just jam out some music. Food? Uh, talk to my competitors. <laughs> you know, I have to chat to them. You know, gotta get inside them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. No, turning it off. What's your race day breakfast? Two wheat bits. Just that? Nothing else? Yeah. No milk? <laughs> uh, with milk. Nice. Saucer? Probably whatever's in the cupboard, so it's normally like pasta or... Oh, pasta for breakfast. breakfast? Yeah, I just... Holy... Grab that lady and up and go! And do you, do you guys have a pre-race ritual? Um, like is there anything you do behind the blocks or a certain song you listen to? Intimidate the other people. Oh, just like food then. Sorcia? I just have a friendly little chit chat with my competitor. Nice. And then do you like stab them in the back? No. Oh. They normally beat me. <laughs> <laughs> You gave us the best quote that you've been given, but what's, what's the best quote that you've given out? What's the best quote that you've given out? Uh, well, my favourite quote is, I'm almost, 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 Who's just asked us a great question? 
that isn't actually on the questions asked, but he's going to ask us now. Um, if you can make anyone transfer to the club, who would it be? This club? Yeah, this club. Jacob? That's a bit of a puffy. Um, I think I'm going to have to... Can I, instead of getting someone here, can I take someone away? Oh my god! <laughs> who do you want in the club? Van Harlan. <laughs> Say that again? Van Harlan. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> ben Harlan. <laughs> if I could have anyone join the club, probably be like Caleb Dressel or something. That'd be a pretty handy pickup. <laughs> nah, we like... need a right wing. <laughs> Let's get Mohamed Salah. Nah, son. Nah, he's left. Right? Oh, if you uh if you're watching this at the end of the video, you should comment what uh, what, it, what you do. Okay, bye. Okay, now for real though. Uh, thank you everyone for tuning in for another video. Um, stay safe, and I'll catch you. Unless the boys have anything they want to say. Your final words? Time to go. Time to go.